Hello everyone, welcome back to Shore Code. In this video, I'll be expanding upon what we learned in the last video on decorators. By the end of this video, you will know how to decorate functions that have parameters in them, and how to use multiple decorators in one function. Before we start, I would just want to say that if you are new here, I make great Python tutorials every day, so if you are interested in that kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future tutorials. Of course, this is the second part in the decorators mini-series, so you will need to see the first video before you watch this one, so that you'll understand what we are actually doing. So let's get right into it. So I'm just carrying on with the same Python file as last time, and there is an issue with what we are doing here. If we were to use arguments in our original function that is being decorated, it wouldn't work. So for example, if I wanted arg1, arg2, and then let's, also, let's create an f string arg1 and arg2. So if we were to, I don't know, pass in 3 and 4, and we run it, we'd get an error. Wrapper func takes zero positional arguments, but two were given. So wrapper func, no arguments, but two were given. So what we need to be able to do is pass in any number of positional or keyword arguments to our wrapper and execute our original function with those arguments. And we do this with args and quarks. If you don't know what they do, I have a video on it. You should be able to see the card in the top right corner linking you to it. So what we need to do is come up to our wrapper function and the parameters need to be star args and star star quarks. And we need to do the same in our original function down here. We need star args and star star quarks. And these allow us to take in any number of positional or keyword arguments into our functions. So even if we wrapped a function that didn't have any arguments at all, it would still run because we can take any number of arguments, even zero. So if we run it now, we still get, I am wrapping the original function, three and four. Now let's chain some decorators together in one original function. So I'm just gonna create another decorator. If I just copy and paste this decorator, call it decor decorator func2, and we'll just put two in there. And if we just add, at decorator func2, when we run it, I'm wrapping the original function, I am wrapping the original function 2, 3 and 4. So it works fine, there is an issue here. With this example, it doesn't affect us, but it can do in other situations. So let's just get rid of these at statements, and let's decorate how we did before. So my func equals decorator func, and then my func. And then down here we should do print my func dot underscore underscore name. So we are just decorating it once, but if we print out the name, we can see that the name of the my func it isn't my func anymore. It is wrapper func because it is set to the wrapper func object. Because when my func equals decorator func my func it turns into this wrapper func right here. So you can see that if we wrap it more than once, we will be running into some issues because we will be wrapping the wrapper, which isn't good. So to combat this, we need to import a module called func tools, and from it, we need to import wraps. So from func tools, import wraps. Now, above all of our wrappers, we need to do at wraps. And we need to pass in our original function that will be decorated here. So, main func. And we'll do that here as well. Main func. And then, down here, when we print out the name, when we run it, we see we get my func. It is our original function, which means we won't be wrapping a wrapper when we decorate something more than once. And we can decorate them with the um, at statements as well. So we could do decorator func decorator func, get rid of these, and copy and paste this, and let's just do decorator func too. And we don't need any of this, we just need my func 3 and 4, and we get the same result, it works nice and fine. So that's everything you need to know about decorators. If you did find it hard to follow, I would recommend that you go back to the start of the previous video, and re-watch the last video, and this video, until you understand what is actually going on. Of course, if you have any questions about decorators, feel free to leave them down below. I know it is quite a hard topic. I always reply to you guys. 
If you would like to support me, it would be great if you could drop a like on this video, it really does help me out. If you would like to see more tutorials from me, make sure to subscribe. That's it from me, cheers and goodbye.